When managing databases in IntraSystems Iris Data Platform, one factor you should consider is size. Size requirements of a database vary from system to system and may change over time. Depending on your situation, you can expand or truncate databases to improve performance. In this video, you'll learn about considerations that go into each option and see how to configure database size in the management portal. One case in which you may need to expand your databases is when you have limited free space in your DAT files and want to make room for more data and code. You can configure database expansion in the management portal or by using the database routine in the Intersystems Iris terminal. This demonstration shows how to expand a database in the management portal. First, select your database by going to System Administration, Configuration, System Configuration, and Local Databases. On the Database Properties page, scroll down to the Size section. Notice the two fields for size, Current and Expansion. You can use these to expand your database manually or have it expand automatically. For now, let's configure the size manually by entering a value in the current field larger than the current database size. Once you click Save, the system will begin expanding your database file. The other option is to configure automatic expansion. When the database becomes full, the system will automatically expand it according to the number specified in the expansion field. This value should be small enough that you will have enough disk space after expansion, but large enough so you won't need to expand the database too often. Putting zero in the expansion field specifies the default expansion size, which is the greater of two values, 10 megabytes or 12% of the current database size up to one gigabyte. Now click Save and your changes will be applied. In rare cases, you may need to truncate or compact your database. In InterSystems Iris, the regular truncation of databases is not recommended or even necessary because the system is very good at reusing free space within databases. A downside of truncation is that if you do it, you will often need to expand it again later to accommodate additional data. However, you may choose to truncate your databases in certain situations. For example, if you have a runaway process that bloats your database and leaves a large amount of unnecessary free space, it would make sense to truncate that database. To truncate a database, open the Management Portal and navigate to System Operation and Databases, then select your database. Click Compact and specify the target amount of free space to move to the end of the DAT file. Then click Truncate and enter a value in the Target File Size field. This will remove free space from the end of the file so that it is the desired size. Zero means you will remove all free space at the end of the file. Once you click OK, your database file will be truncated. Managing size is an integral part of database management, but each system is different. Use this video as a stepping stone for working with expansion and truncation of databases in InterSystems Iris.